from the roundabout contextual menu select roundabout properties select 3d corridor from the roundabout properties then toggle on features you want to create and whether you want them to automatically update when the changes are made to create the corridor object you will need to toggle on both alignment and profile which are used to define the corridor baselines you if you'd rather use custom built alignments and profile leave all of this option turned off click apply to create the corridor in the lower right of the drawing session you will see the corridor model being processed when finished the corridor along with the top surface will appear over top of the roundabout to isolate and view the corridor model you can use the object viewer in the object viewer you can pitch and rotate the view to inspect the corridor model in 3d this is quick way for you to validate the grading to better view the corridor in your drawing you can hide the roundabout design select the roundabout then from the contextual menu under isolate objects select hide selected objects to view the alignments that were created for the roundabout hide the corridor object numerous alignments were created for the roundabout design which can also be viewed in the prospected tool space under the roundabouts folder many assemblies were also added into the design drawing under the assemblies node you will see all of them listed use the contextual menu to zoom into one of these assemblies so you can see where it lives in the drawing each assembly that was imported is used in region of corridor model the assemblies cannot be preset prior to creating 3d corridor however once the assemblies are added in your design drawing you can make some changes for for example if you want to switch out the curb and gutter sub assembly with a different sub assembly you can replace them select the sub assembly you want to use from the tool palette then preset the parameters in the properties palette at the common line type r or click replace Select the curb and gutter on the assembly to replace it with the new sub assembly. After the replacement, the corridor will be updated. Press enter, then repeat the command pr prompts for other assemblies you want to edit. After each replacement, you will need to press enter to, to cycle back through the common command prompts. The corridor model is pres preset to automatic rebuild which you can disable if working in large drawing files. Apply your changes to both the left and right side of the sub-assemblies until you have completed all of the edits. When you are finished, make sure to save your drawing file. Assemblies can also be appended with new sub-assemblies. For example, if you want to add a curve and gutter on the inner island of the roundabout, you can append the inter-arm apron assemblies. Use the contextual menu and zoom to the assembly in your drawing. Select the curve gutter sub assembly that you want to add from the tool palette. Then attach it to the outside of the apron sub assembly. Making a change to the assembly will reveal the corridor model. Repeat the same steps for other two arm apron assemblies. Use the prospector tool space to more easily identify and locate the assemblies in your drawing. When you're all finished making the edits, make sure to save your drawing file. To, to view the changes, use the object viewer. In the object viewer, pitch and rotate the view to inspect the corridor model in 3D. Although it may be difficult to see with only the links and shape code that are visible, you will notice that the curb and gutter was added to the inner island. 